What's up, Dunks? Dunkins, Dunkinators, whatever y'all want to call yourselves. <sighs> you ever had one of those days where you just wake up and just, <sighs> you know? Top of the morning. Top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning. Now nah, for real. It's um day before Christmas Eve. And I'm getting ready to go to an interview. Long story short, I quit AT and T. Because that shit was stressful for one, for two, my mental health. It was just too, it was exhausting, bro. It was taking all of my energy and shit. So I quit at t thinking also that I was gonna uh, get this other job that I had lined up, right? <sighs> Turns out that uh, issue that I had in the past with my background um, prevented me from getting that job. So I went in that day thinking I was going to get it, didn't get it. So, I haven't had a job in about three weeks. I feel like shit, to be honest. But, I'm trying to make it do what it do. So, I have an interview today. Babe just sent me to the store for breakfast. Uh, or salsa for her breakfast thing that she's cooking. Here's your salsa. Let's see what she up to, y'all. I forgot to do my potatoes, but I had one. It look like she making so I'm gonna make breakfast egg it. rolls. So, this y'all test her. Y'all better. <laughs> so, uh, my head is itching. Why y'all didn't tell me that this whole wave journey and everything, I'm gonna be having my shit itching like this, man. Kai, say good morning. Good morning. Y'all see what he on. Went to bed late last night. Up early in the morning. That's how he do. <laughs> nah, but I uh, I gotta figure out what I wanna wear to this interview, man. Do I go flashy? Like, wow, bow, watch out now. It's ducking in here. We about to get down. <laughs> or corporate, you know. Hello, my name is Duncan. Can you hire me, please? Because I need some money. You know, which one should I go with? Don't do what? <laughs> Don't do the corporate. <laughs> Huh? I'm about to pull out my outfits and then we'll see which ones I'm gonna go with, okay? I'll be right back. Shirt number one. I got on black jeans. So you can picture that. Don't she look good? Does it does it say like pick me or does it say like pick me too much? It say pick me too much. Really? I don't like this shirt. Why? I'm at the half. Really? Yeah. I thought this shirt was dope. To you? Because this is like my style. It's your yeah your style, not mine. But I still don't like it. I think the older you get, the uglier it gets. <laughs> That's what it is. Because when you first got it, maybe it was because you had hair. Now that you don't have hair, it's just the shorter you go in hair, the uglier the shirt. Oh, are you recording? Hmm. That's how I be feeling when you be loud. You'd be like, I'm recording. Okay. She just gonna pick up my shit. Take a, a big old swig. Go, 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 go. Just overly thirsty. I just wanted to come do her like she do me. I don't know what you're talking about. Damn! 
calm. You better leave that in there so they can see how you be manhead. You see, booty, you hear her? He, he heard you. He don't like, yeah. no, that's Zena. I like this one better than the first one, to be honest. I think she was kind of right. The other one was too. This one is, it's, it's flashy, but it's not as flashy as the first one. The other one just got too many patterns. Yeah. It's not giving the, um, interviews. She said they, she said they really laid back anyway, though. Mm -hmm. It's not like you got to dress corporate, corporate. Mm -hmm. It's stinking. So this is shirt number two. I think I'm going to go with this one, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all the last one just in case. I can't even button this one. Can't even button it. So it would have to be an open shirt. And I feel like that's not presentable for a interview. Maybe going out with the bros. You know. Going out with Bay or something. But for an interview like this, no. So yeah, we're going with um, shirt number two. I ain't ironing that shit, but don't tell Sherry. We're coming back to check in on you. You need to go iron that shirt and don't tell me that. <laughs> How you gonna walk around the corner and talk about, I ain't ironing that shirt, don't tell Sherry, <laughs> but I'm around the corner. Hey, I don't think y'all have had a house tour, huh? Let's start from the front door. All right, so we got Sherry right there in the kitchen, you know, where she need to be. Just kidding. Uh, we got the, we're the only house that has a gate. I think that's a plus, that's good. I need to do my hair. We're gonna see that too. This is the little, you know, outdoor patio-ish area where we're coming to sit, smoke, chill, think, collect my thoughts. This is the living room. Um, it used to be a garage but they transformed it into a living room. So I'll show y'all that. This is a bathroom. It's a little messy. But whatever, you know, bathroom is a bathroom. <clears throat> and of course, y'all have seen Kai's room. And this is our room. It's a little messy, but whatever. Y'all know how it is with life. This is my studio. Got my punching bag and all my memorabilia stuff. Got my record player. Got my records. This is my gaming desk where I do all my, of course, gaming. That's in the title. And then this is all my music stuff. A beat machine, speakers, computer, microphones, and all that shit. We got Sherry popping her ass. We got the doggy. They're in trouble, so they're in the cage right now. You know, some people are like, why y'all be having your dogs in cages? Well, not to me, but on TikTok. This is, uh, like, so. Nigga, you don't know them dogs? Right. So that is the original living room. That's like where it was at first. We're just using that as like the dog area. It may be a dining room eventually. We don't know really. Um, This is Sherry's beauty room. Where she does all her magic. Her Chucky's gym shit. And don't call it shit. Washer dryer space. The piece de resistance is the living room. We had movie night a few uh nights ago last week. We have the tin in here and right up under here. Let me show y'all. Got the TV in there, the couch in there. We had the shit all laid out. So it was nice when it's been. She did the vlog of our uh, movie night. So she was showing me a thumbnail. You want to show? Uh, Not really. Uh, they can go look at it because it's oh, public now. It's public now, so y'all can go look. Ooh, that is Chucky's okay. gym. That's basically the house. You know, it's a nice size house. That's the kitchen. Damn, I, um, I like it. Me too. I'm sure that'd be good. But I'm getting ready to, to go do my hair, get dressed so I can get out of here. I plan to leave about 
uh, 12.30, 12.35 because I have to be there at 1 at my interview. So I'll catch y'all in a second. So as y'all seen, the other day was wash day. So I'm just putting some gel in there to make it a little wet. And then I'm gonna go ahead and brush it down. I thought I had a gray hair, y'all. It was the bristle from the brush. I was about to cry. breakfast egg rolls. Oh, there's still chicken crack. He better eat that chicken. Oh, yeah. I'll probably just let y'all have the egg rolls. No, you better eat some. They got egg I made two without egg. Mmm. Did you get some with, with potatoes in it? Mmm. -hmm. I just got it first thing off the top. Take a big enough bite, probably. Mm -hmm. I'm about to dip. Didn't you make this? Mm -hmm. You made this. I'm about to dip. I made, I put sausage and uh, bacon, I think, in mine, but I didn't have enough for everything. Yeah, I thought I was doing something new, and I forgot you had made it already. Mm -hmm. You were supposed to make it again. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, I feel played. It's cool, though. It's I feel cool. played. Why? Because. I didn't put potatoes and all that in it, though. You upgraded it. I can't even I remember I what I put in something. it. I can't even remember what I put in it, to be honest. I love Damn, it. you greasy. I'm sweating. That's sweat? Yeah. You need to get that to death. I'm, I'm about to go grab my rag. I love you. I love you. Wish me luck. You got this. Mm -hmm. Dang, I couldn't even get out fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got this. You, you know. You know you. Yeah. How you are. Just be myself. Just be yourself. That's it. That's all. And you didn't iron this motherfucking shirt. Mm -hmm. You know. Good. That's tight? No. You know good and damn well I do not iron my shirt. No, I know you don't. I need an iron board for Christmas. No. I don't want it for Christmas. No, no we do need an iron board though. We do. Because I be struggling. We been need my one. own clothes. Hey, I get it like I used to. Put a towel down and iron, dear me. Dead. Shit. Mama ain't no All right, y'all. We about to get up out of here and head to the interview. All right, y'all. I'm out. Love you. Love y'all. See y'all later. Awesome. I don't know why I feel so nauseous. But I am. Um, about to pull up so we'll see uh you know what they say i'll let you guys know when i come back to the car and stuff like that so wish me luck so i don't know if i got it or not but i'm basically waiting on them to let me know if i did so either later today or monday that's kind of how Everything's been going here lately anyway, so I'm I'm waiting on like four jobs at this point to tell me something. So we'll see. Trying to keep high hopes. Baby back there. I think she might be editing. I got all my editing I gotta edit this one. And get it posted for y'all. But uh it's the day before Christmas Eve. I got an interview tomorrow with U.S. Cellular, so basically it's whoever get me first. I need something ASAP. I need something to follow through, Jesus. So that's where we're at right now. So I'm about to chill for a minute, regroup, and forgot what I'm going to do with the rest of my day. Remember, I was telling y'all, babe, what's going on? Show me how to do it.
sorry. I'm laughing because something took, took place prior to this. Uh, babe was going to show me how to do the editing stuff. He about to show me, y'all. If y'all haven't watched the video yet, the one that I plugged in earlier, make sure you watch it. I'm going to put a card up at the top. It's probably going to be somewhere. It's that side. Right in this corner for y'all to go watch the movie night video or check out her uh, no. page. No. It's this side. Because it's that side when you're watching it. And so I notice when I point to this side because that's where it pops up. It's this side when you're actually watching, watching. the video. Yeah. Well, either side is gonna be on. Make sure you watch the video. Okay. Make sure you like. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Not for real. We about to get to these editing skills though. She gonna show me some things. Yeah, so right. y'all gonna see her uh, her video start changing. <laughs> so what's up guys? We're in the studio and I just finished getting some valuable tips from the OG, triple OG, Chucky Sherry. Um, but I'm getting ready to probably try to make some music or, you know, look at some of the stuff that I've got going on for my project as far as my music is concerned. And I just really... I have some beats already in mind that I've kind of been writing to, but also at the same time, I've been making some new beats that are, you know, from just fresh, just, you know, from scratch. Um, and so, you know, I want to show y'all some of that, like kind of foundation, and then I might make y'all one. Um, so you can see kind of, you know, my concept of what I do and stuff. So I'm going to show you one here that uh, this is actually the beat that, is my intro but yeah this is the beat so just really something slight and then I make weird weird people say they're weird and I don't give a fuck but I make beats that I like So these are just foundations and I kind of start something and then get an idea of uh, what I want and then I kind of build off of that and add you know pianos or the other stuff uh, on there eventually or sometimes I just leave them alone and I might send them to my homeboy T Styles and he'll tell me if you know I need to add something else or if that's fine or if I've added too much you know if I need to take something out so um, but you know, we kind of bounce off of each other artistically. That's my that's my homeboy right there. TGO. Here's another one. This was almost the intro, but I thought it was uh, I thought it was kind of too slow, so that's why I went with the other one. And I don't know what this one is, so we're going to see the other. This is one that I'm actually going to be using, so it's already tracked out. Oh, sorry. It's already tracked out for, you know, intro, outro, whatever, my stuff that I've got going on. But, uh, yeah, y'all hear that bass? Yeah, yes, sir. See, this would be the shit that they say is weird. And that's fine. Because you know what? 
everybody didn't like Macy and Tim when they came out. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wasn't feeling T Pain when he came out. And I'm sure there's many other artists that, you know, had their own style and everybody was like, ugh. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes you have to create that lane. You have to you have to get at least one person. If I could get one person on board that would rock with my beats and actually show people that like you don't have to do what's mainstream. You can do your own shit and it come out fine and and be nice. You know what I'm saying? If I can find that one person that's willing to ride with me, we could take over. It could be, you know what I'm saying? Because the beats are nice. They're not, to me at least, I don't know, maybe I'm too my own horn. They're not trash because I've heard some that are, to me, trash. But I just don't have anyone that's like 100%. Let me get your beats. We can work together. We'll make it, and, you know. Everybody's always like, they're too weird for me. And they compare me to Missy. And I'm like, do y'all not realize Missy is fucking great, bro? But that's why I just rap on my own stuff. You know, I come up with the beats. I rap on it. And I show people, like, you can, it's, it's, you can do it. Y'all just are so stuck in that mindset of, let me get a beat like, let me get a beat like, let me get a beat like. Rather than creating your own thing and doing your own thing. So. Is there something that you need? Hmm? Is there something that you need? No, you disappeared too long. So I was just wondering where you went. Because you said you was hungry. So I was trying to figure out what you was just taking so long. <laughs> I feel played. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, you played yourself. So after all of that, I decided I didn't even like the beat. I didn't delete it, but it's 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 in the it's in the cloud it's in the archive y'all tell me what y'all think tell me what y'all think do y'all think it's trash i mean y'all can be honest let me know because i don't want to be out here thinking my shit is the shit you know what i'm saying and it's really shit why you didn't ask me <laughs> you know shit. you know what i'm saying nah but yeah let me know in the comments if y'all think that beat was nice or you know what i should change or so, add or whatever yeah i mean we can we Did she have... just switch from one conversation yeah, to the one we were having before? Because I responded to, yeah. But I was responding to the conversation you originally was having when you turned the camp when I turned the camera on. Yeah, dinner, right? No. Oh, what was it? What was it? I didn't lost it already. Y'all know asking about the beat. I said, "Why you didn't let me hear oh. it? Tell you if it was trash or not." <laughs> you didn't hear me. <laughs> Hey, dog. <laughs> oh, Look, I man. was listening too hard earlier. You wasn't listening well, at all. Well, you know? <laughs> nah, I don't know, Shawty. I don't know. I should have let you listen to it right when you was walking in there. Hold on, wait. One conversation at a time. Hold on. I'm already fucking lagging. Hold on, nigga. Damn. <laughs> so... When you was walking in there, I was like, I should let her listen to this. It was probably trash. You knew it was trash. You know, yeah. felt it. You knew it was like, um, <laughs> so I was like, yeah, I'm about to get out of here. <laughs> That's what I was like. <laughs> you did say I was about to leave when I walked in. <laughs> <laughs> and then to answer, no, I'm not hot. You probably hot because you got on this robe and shit. It ain't even long sleeve. And you up under the blanket. I'm not. Yeah, that's why I was, I was like, you know how? <coughs> <coughs> oh, shit. She got the wrong one. You remember one? 
You know, was, you remember when people could cough in public and not think that you had a disease? I was about to say, you remember when you you cough and people had coronavirus? Right. No, they still do that. You can't cough for nothing. Booty hole it. Booty, booty hole it. You don't still look like a booty hole. <laughs> That's the sad part. Do, <laughs> do you booty hole it? Kai. Come here. <laughs> Do your booty hole lips. Booty hole. What is that? Where your lips look like a booty hole. It's a booty hole. Why? Because we don't want to see what yours look like. Right now they ask you. Really? So you got, you got dry ashy booty, booty, booty hole. <laughs> you got a little dry booty. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. You got a clench. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ain't nothing getting in that one, oh boy. Stop. 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 Hey, you was thinking that I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, I look at that. I'm not saying I'm going to look at that. I had to look at mine and yours. <laughs> I thought mine was good. Shit, that nigga said, clink, clink. Clink, clink. It's the man in it. Yeah, man. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Right. That's funny. All right, so right here we're prepping everything. So I got shallots, bell peppers, jalapenos, and onions for dinner. I went ahead and told Babe that I was going to go ahead and cook so she didn't have to worry about cooking. And um, right here I'm showing you guys the meat. This is the sirloin Philly steak meat. Giving y'all that pan look so you can see what it look like all put together with the meat and everything. All right, so y'all, we making the egg rolls. We're making Philly cheese steak egg rolls. This is something that we do all the time. We either do regular Phillies or we do Philly cheese steak egg rolls. And this, the good thing about this is this really doesn't take long to cook at all. This is a quick, easy, simple meal. You can get this meat from Walmart get the egg rolls from Walmart <clears throat> I wanted to talk to y'all about mental health man you know earlier I was telling y'all about my job and how it was stressful and you know all the other shit that I was going through I was having to deal with customers attitudes you know Karen's and Kyle's all day and then get off of work and not really having the energy to deal with my family afterwards, like, because we really have to be ass kissers in the customer service industry, you know? And people feel entitled and they feel like, you know, the customer is always right motto. And I feel like that's not necessarily true. In some situations, yes, but not in all situations. And y'all know who the fuck y'all are. So I just got to the point to where I said I wanna quit. You know, I want to go and do my own thing. I don't want to have to deal with customers. I want to be able to work. And here's my work. And my hard work show and prove something to somebody. So I, I got to the point to where I didn't want to get out of bed. I didn't want to go to work. I didn't want to watch movies with my family. You know, I didn't want to do anything. And it took me a minute to realize that it was the job that was causing me distress and anxiety. But one thing that isn't talked about a lot is mental health and depression, especially amongst black women. Oh, especially, we're always told we gotta be strong. You know, we gotta hold the fort down. We gotta carry the household. We gotta be there for the man. And so you feel like you can't express yourself. You can't explain what you're going through. You can't cry because then it'll be shown as a sign that you being weak. You know, in some households, some black households, they say, oh, you ain't got depression. Ain't nothing wrong with you. And then want to be the first one at the funeral crying because somebody didn't attempt suicide or was successful at a suicide. But you guys didn't take the time to listen to that person. When they really needed y'all to be there, you brushed it off like, oh, ain't nothing wrong with you when something was mentally wrong with that person. And I get it, everybody has their own shit. Let's talk about it. Let's have discussions about it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we can get each other through this shit together. You know what I'm saying? I used to um, 
like I said, I used to get to the point to where I didn't want to go to work. I, I was heavily thinking about, you know, being one of those that attempts suicide. Because it just got to the point to where not even, it wasn't just my job and I don't want to try to think, oh, she tried to offer herself because of her job. It was other factors as well. But having to deal with all those energies every single day was a, was an added factor. I just want to let y'all know, like, we need y'all to talk to us and understand where we coming from, not judge us. It's for my, my, my people that are going through, I want y'all to know that therapy is okay. Okay? I ended up talking to someone one night from my job. They had a free counseling thing, and I used it because I was really, 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 I was really going to do it, y'all. But I started thinking about all the people that love me and, you know, that are normally here for me. But depression is real. Depression is also hereditary. It's a daily mental physical, emotional battle. It definitely was a hard decision to, to, to decide if I, if I was gonna leave my job or not. I had been there for a year, so I was like, oh, you know, accomplishment. I was thinking of the managerial stuff, like if I'd stick it out, I could be a lead or I could be a supervisor one day. I kept putting those thoughts over my mental health. The, the pay was good, you know, but eventually I, I had to, talk myself into telling myself this is not okay if your loved one comes to you and tries to tell you how they're feeling mentally physically emotionally spiritually believe them because obviously they feel like you're a bridge for them that they can you know lean on the person that that, that they feel like can be there for them in their darkest times and how you react Maybe the last pers person, thing, words, it may be the last for them. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. You're the best. So, dinner's done. My lecture is over. But think about what I said, yo. It's good, baby. He fucking that shit. Uh, <laughs> eat, eat, eat. They, just, they literally just came off. Hot out the press. Am I missing anything? Yep. What am I missing? What am I missing? We're gonna try running these legs. Um, or spinach. We do spinach. That's it. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, guys. So it's a few minutes before uh, Christmas Eve. And we are uh, in bed, as you can see. So we're going to go ahead and wrap it out. And we are also, you know, watching our Christmas movies and stuff like that. So I want to say good night. Thank you for watching. Love you guys. It's been real. It's been true. But we about to get the fuck, 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 fuck up out of here. Peace. Make sure y'all like. And here it is. Mm. Mm. Make sure make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.